Dan Harris. I'm a beekeeper. We're going to look here at a few things. We're going to focus mainly on an apparent nectar flow. Because I, I this, um, yeah, this is what every beekeeper lives for. It's May 12th, 2018. Um, and we have been in the midst of probably the most, uh, one of the grandest nectar flows I ever remember. I put this box on top of this hive on the 6th, so it's been on there five days, um, six days. I don't know if they're drawing any comb in here yet or not. I'm going to take a quick look at that. Uh, we'll see. This was my second swarm of the 2018 season, early April. They have gone gangbusters, um, but not gangbusters enough to start drawing comb up here yet. And we'll look in the box below. The box below is a deep body that um, when I put the super on, they had almost completely drawn the comb out on that. Um, and they probably should be just about finished with that by now. This was a this is a deep box, as you can probably see. And oh yeah, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Um, it may still be filling it, but this was a deep box with wax foundation put on this hive on the 22nd of April. Basically. Um, I started the swarm early April. They, because, well, for a variety of reasons, they had drawn out most of the first 10 frames by, um, well, by early April, actually. On the 9th of April, I added the second box, which was Wax Foundation, and they drew that out. And on the 22nd of April, uh, I added this third. And I'm just going to show you a frame of this real quick. And this is what I say beekeepers live for. Um, our few weeks here in Georgia of, oh, well, that baby is so heavy. That, my friends, is honest to goodness honey. They're capping it. You can see it's capped up here. So they finished with this. They're finishing, completing that in the middle. It's still uncapped. So they're curing it. Um, and they have not started the box above, but they will probably go up there if the nectar flow continues. Once things below get filled out, um, they'll go up further in the hive, seeking somewhere else to store honey. And when they find that wax foundation, hopefully, they will begin to produce new comb in that. That's my hope. So, but that's what we're looking at. In, in you know, in from the 22nd of April until the 6th of May, they largely drew out that that deep box full of wax foundation on natural nectar, a swarm no less, an early season spring uh, swarm, and they've done a bang up job, that's all. You know, I've got so many of these hives that are looking grand this year. I, it just makes me yeah, I'm just pleased. Okay, we're gonna go look at a couple more real quick, just to see how this all is going. Because that's what I—that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Then after this, I've got some hives to get prepped to move. I'm gonna move them tomorrow. It's my hope, at least, um, to get start thinning this crowd out that lives in here. But I want to show you a couple of things related to a grand. Uh, natural nectar flow. This is an established hive. Hopefully you can see this. This is this has been um, a great story this season. This particular hive has. It started out coming out of winter as a double deep. I added a super on the 3rd of April and and they had that largely filled on the 20th so in just about two weeks they filled that first box 
I put this one on the 20, oh, I can't even read my own writing, it's like 22nd. 22nd of April, I put this box on, and by the 29th, a week later, they had filled it, and I put this box on, and by the 8th, which was um, four days ago, they had filled this third one, and I put the fourth one on. So, you know, assuming they were to fill them all, you know, we're, we're well, it's, we're just in the midst of a banner year nectar flow if everything continues as it has been. And I just want to take a quick look and see if they're continuing to draw this comb out. Um, we'll see. Because it, you know, the, under normal circumstances, I would say our nectar flow would be waning by now. Which, of course, you northern beekeepers probably laugh because yours hadn't even started, but, you know, oh, 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 oh my goodness. All right. All right. I got to show you this. This, four days ago, I want you to look at this. I hope, I hope I can give you a good look at this. Um, this, my friends, four days. And these bees, you see all that white? That real bright, intense white wax, that comb, they're up there, and that white wax tells me that we have a natural nectar flow still ongoing. The young house bees, it's their job to produce wax, and so that's what they're doing, is they're producing new wax. Maybe you get a better view from here. They produce new wax on that comb, and then they fill it as they're putting that wax on. So the young bees produce wax. The old foraging bees, the older bees, are foragers. Bees, as they get older, they have age-related tasks. Foraging is the task for older bees. You need mature, um, level-headed bees. <laughs> no, it's not level-headed bees, but you need mature bees to forage. They bring the nectar back. They turn it over to the young bees in the hive. The young bees bring it up, store it, produce wax, and uh, draw the comb out. As the young bees get older and the older forage bees die off, the existing young bees become foragers and a new population of young bees takes over. So I would tell you right this minute, huh, uh, I mean that is as beautiful as it gets. I will put, I'll put another super on this today. If they fill all of these supers, I mean just the, the ones that are on here, are 100 pounds. We, a, a good season around here, we tend to get, oh, let me turn this camera here. I might as well, you know, have you looking at what we're talking about. I, you know, sometimes I get a little carried away. <clears throat> so what I'll do, I just, just maybe I'll pull one of these out just for a look. See how far along that's going. Ha, that is just grand. I, oh, uh, I'm sorry, you know, we work, beekeepers that are serious about beekeeping, we work at this 12 months a year. And around here, that 12 months of the year corresponds then to maybe three to five weeks worth of nectar flow. So everything revolves around the success of that three to five weeks. We need a lot of young bees. We need a lot of old bees. We need a lot of healthy bees. They must be vigorous. The frame is practically full of honey. They'll begin capping it soon. Um, I don't see any that are currently being capped, but we'll probably give them one more super. And um, if they were to fill these, there'd be 100 pounds of honey on this hive, which they're hard on their way to doing. The other thing about this, from the For What It's Worth department, is this is an extremely light honey and and we've seen this all season so far that the uh, honey is practically practically water white which tells me either the um, tulip poplar trees have not yet bloomed or they're not going to bloom one or the other heaven help us if the tulip poplars don't bloom be potentially and likely at this point barring a calamity 100 pounds on this hive, if I put another super on it, 120 if they'll fill it, plus 
in a location that historically we were lucky to get a 60 pound surplus. This year has been grand. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how, what a joy it's been to be a beekeeper this spring. I got to turn off the camera because when I'm standing here talking to the camera, you see I'm not getting another stinking thing done and I've got a whole yard here of beehives to go through. Uh, they're not all this grand, but there's several down there that are just about as grand. I've got easily, I've got a lot of hives that are on the track to make 100 pounds of, of uh, honey this year. And I've never, ever, ever, ever had more than one or two real, real, real um, exceptional hives even get close. So I'm, I'm really thrilled with this. You can't tell it, can you? <laughs> and anyway... Uh, as I said in a post on Facebook uh, a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago, it's hard to take the smile off my face. It truly is. So anyway, I got to go to work. I wanted y'all to see this and I appreciate you watching.